previously on Apollo Justice, Ace Attorney. Oh God, I hope not. I hope your doctor creepy pants isn't there. Oh, for fuck's sake! What did I just say? What did I just fucking demon say? Yeah, so good. Now back to screeching at people. Hello, this is Nico B. Back with some more Apollo Justice, Ace Attorney. We last left off, we completed a uh, Phoenix Wright's laundry list of shit to do. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, yeah, we got some panties, we, uh, found the car that hit Phoenix, and then we found Eldoon's noodle stand. <laughs> you know, I, I, it was funny, I was thinking, though, I, I spent a long time, like, while I was in the video, I was, like, looking at it, like, what is, what is it, what's the, uh, the pun with Eldoon's name, you know? Hmm, hmm, <laughs> Nico, it's noodle spelled backward, uh, 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 <laughs> do you ever, do you ever have that moment where you sort of, like, you realize something, it was like, it, it should have been so obvious, but it wasn't. You're just like, you're like, ah, <laughs> I'm disappointed in myself. <laughs> uh, anyway, a lot of you guys, uh, I, I think I can see maybe why people disliked the right, right in this game so far. I will say he is being kind of a douchebag. <laughs> I mean, I, I get what the, the developers are trying to do here. They're trying to sort of make him like Mr. Miyagi, where, you know, wax on, wax off. We're having you do something that... Seems like it's fucking pointless, but it's really to better yourself and make you know make you stronger. But I, I think part of it is that like uh, we already see that Apollo is is fairly capable by himself. It just seems like Phoenix should treat him with a little bit more respect than he is, you know, and not be like you know, oh yeah, you you obviously don't know shit, but you're gonna have to find out the hard way or something. I I don't know, I I don't know. I just I, I do kind of agree. I think he's been a little bit of an asshole, but I mean. I guess it's just his spiel this time. I I think it'd be I think I would have maybe preferred a bit more if he did treat Apollo like you know all right you're the intern here or whatever even if even if Phoenix wasn't actually the uh, you know still wasn't working as a lawyer just I don't know I mean just acting as a normal advisor as opposed to I, I don't know doing everything so backhanded you know like <laughs> that that's just my two cents though anyway I missed the grocery list of shit I had to do I. Also, got a client who was this weedy little wannabe gangster kid and his, uh, godfather dad. And he'll probably kill me if I fail, so I better, f I better fucking do good. Hello, two guards. You're in 16, 946 AM, district court defendant, lobby number two. Oh, and yes. <laughs> oh, yes. I, kn I knew, I knew it, the pit of my stomach. I'm like, people are gonna give me so much shit about that Gavin voice. I was fucking right like everybody in the comments i'm pretty sure like over half the comments are people like oh god nico oh god don't do it i knew i was like oh god they're gonna fucking kill me for that because oh if any of the sexy characters get anything less than you know pure dripping cocoa butter all over the naked body then it's just not it's just not gonna be get a good reception <laughs> I, I mean i did feel right to me anyway but i was sort of struggling with trying to get something Get something right for him. Anyway, so most of you guys said you sort of like the one I did initially. I, I think I've sort of I've sort of been practicing a little bit off screen with see if I can find one. I think I found one. I, I think it might be a little different from some of the other voices, so we'll see how it goes. But it's it's, it's plenty sexy. Don't worry, huh, Mr. Wright? Mr. Wright's not here today. He said his foot injury was acting up. Old injury was he was he was all smiles yesterday. Guess he smiled when he said he'd be fine as long as you're there, Trucy. Yes, fine. We'll be fine. Fine! <laughs> Here comes justice! <laughs> I started my voice string at five this morning. Oh, do some now! I want to see her er, er, here! <laughs> oh, God, I want it too! Huh? Oh, okay. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> my name is Apollo Justice, and I'm fine! <laughs> uh, oh my god I will say I do I actually really like Apollo I've liked him a lot up to this point but now I really like him <laughs> my name is Apollo Justice and I'm fine I am fine and I am fine Apollo Justice and I am fine <laughs> that sounds more like a self mantra than voice training I'm fine I'm fine you know what I'm saying oh ah! uh, uh, good morning Yo, what's up? Hit me with the guilty verdict, G. See if I can. Just, just hang loose and let things go with the flow. You know what I'm saying. Uh, not really. I guess, I guess I should give him sli like a slightly weenier sounding seven voice. I, I think I can do that. Walk, don't be running your mouth like that in here. 
See, that's the difference between you and me, old man. I ain't afraid of no cops. Hey, real G's can't get, keep it real till they spend some hard time in the pen. <laughs> you have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Sounds like they've both been voice trained too, Bob. <laughs> My worst feels, fears have been realized. The trial's starting, and I still haven't had a real talk with my client. Whoo! It's all right. Just do what I do. BS your way through it all. It's 16, 10 a.m. Just record quarter number four. Blah, 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 blah. Yep, I knew that guy was going to be my fucking competition. Just fucking knew it. I was like, it's... He's the new Edworth, right? We have to have a sexy counterpart. It's Edworth Gatto. Depending on what you're into, Von Karma... <laughs> Sup, assholes? Here with the second case of the game. All right. Where's now Zed for the trial of Walkie Kataki? Ah, ah, oh, Walkie Kataki. I get it. I get it this time, guys. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Ready to rock and roll, Air, air Judge. Ah, uh, Tim, the, the pr guy from yesterday. He's a prosecutor. It's Mr. Gavin's brother. Who would have thunk it? Oh my god, he is a sexy little beast, isn't he, though? It's a long time to see, Prosecutor Gavin. Were you taking a leave of absence? You know, that little band I started in my free time. Thing thing is, we got real popular. Hard to say nine to your fans and three of your singles go platinum, ya? Yeah? <laughs> I see, to be honest, I was a little concerned. I fear that you might still be distraught over that one trial. Not to worry, El Judge. I wouldn't miss the day in, I wouldn't miss this day in court for the world. It's worth more than the VIP passes to one of my concerts, Ja. Could I pass up a chance to see the true strength of the little boy who bested my brother? It was worth canceling a show or two. <laughs> oh, snap. Understood. All right. Yeah, he's back for... He's here for payback, Justice. Oh, you better be on your game today, bitch. You may give your opening savings to the court. For that, I was thinking, is the air in this courtroom not a bit serious? Uh, it is a court of law! <laughs> Are you kidding me? The air in this courtroom is nothing but fucking bananas at all the time. That's no way to get to the crowd jumping, as judge. They're not supposed to go up! This is a courtroom! <laughs> hey, Shung, baby! Today we play it my way. <laughs> what? Is that noise? <laughs> so I'm playing a guitar. Sometimes you have to get on up in order to get down to prosecuting. This is crazy. Is someone playing a rock solo in the back? <laughs> oh, wow. Damn, this guy's got a badass fucking theme. The victim, Pal, Ma Pal Maractus, director of the Maractus Clinic. The scene, People Park, is found pulling a noodle stand. What in the world is a doctor pull doing pulling a noodle stand? Yes, I believe. You will only find that out by acting, asking the defendant right here, right now. Is that because it is undeniable truth that he shot the victim? What do you mean undeniable? You are to glare at anyone near justice. Glare at the punk at the defendant's chair. His crime was witnessed quite clearly, you see. Very well. I'm ready to bring this witness to the car. Oh. 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 Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. That was beautiful. Nine. Not yet. First, there's a little matter to be cleaned up. Could you talk without the accompaniment? I swear I could see the guitar for a second. Oh, my ovaries are gonna explode! What is it, Prosecutor Gavin? The motive, Air Judge. Why did the little punk do it? Why did they kill the director of the Maractus Clinic? Hey! All right, not so fast. I haven't said anything yet. The defendant doesn't have to explain that. Oh, but what did the defendant specifically request to do so? As he did this morning. Oh, god damn it. Uh, I want to give a shout out to all my home homies, I believe he said. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. You are so white and shitty. <laughs> what is right? They always say that on stage. You could usually hit the crowd with speed and ferocity. Sounds like he got you got you good, huh, Polly? Thanks. God damn it. <laughs> well, it's highly unusual, but <laughs> what? like I said, so is this fucking courtroom every day. Court will now hear from the defendant concerning his motive in the crime. So you, son of the defendant. Walkie, are you? <laughs> Is that short for wacky? <laughs> I ain't your son, old man. You stepped to a Kataki, you just been a step strong. 
you step to a public official, you best be prepared to step into jail. <laughs> I kind of like this guy. This guy's funny. Sure got a hit. You got a hand to him. Blocky sure has guts. It's not his guts I'm worried about. It's my guts. Well, look at the corporal now here. What the fucking dicks you have to say? And all the defendant's motive. From the defendant himself. Who would have thunk it? Quacky talkies truth. I get what he's trying to do. So he, he wants to he wants to get street cred essentially. Say, oh yeah, I totally did it, but of course he's nothing but a little punk ass bitch. I'll tell you one thing, that doctor was a quacker. Qu quacker? <laughs> Someone had to show him what's what. I was in his clinic about half a year ago. He he messed up my OP something so bad. It's funny, you can tell by just looking at him like I mean this isn't like American gangster, this is very much Japan gangster, you know? I, I don't know. I've always, the Japan, I think sort of gangster in Japan is when they really like, like they really do up their hair. They get like, you know, crazy colors and uh, put stuff on their face. And, you know, like that, that's, I think that's usually been sort of like the, because that's what you see a lot of times with a lot of the musicians uh, from like the J pop or J rock or whatever. And then he just lets me go without a word. See you later. Bye. So I got to go in and get another doc. Bash me up again. That was the day I done figured it out. No OG's going to let that pass. That's what I went through with tears. Bad that night. Know what? Know what I'm saying? <laughs> know what I'm saying? You're saying you're one of the victim's patients? A lot of stuff goes down when you're trying to keep real on the street. True that. <laughs> <laughs> well, keeping it real goes wrong. Ah, oh, God, I missed the Chappelle show. I tell you one thing, that dog was whack. Ah, very well. Fence mate, begin the fucking bananas examination. I can't believe this is the first time I'm hearing about all this. All right, bring it on, sexy rock god. Yeah, baby. Okay, I'll tell you one thing: the doc was a. I gotta hold it, hold it. I I gotta impress you because I don't know what the balls that means. First of all, the word you're looking for is quack. Oh. Oh. Okay. And isn't that a little harsh? She's your family doctor. Who asked you, poor locks? Just who do you think you are? <laughs> Uh, your lawyer? <laughs> Look, I ain't trying to hear that. He was a quacker, plain and simple. Quacker like a shack a dick duck. <laughs> uh, I'm having fun with this guy. Someone had to show him what's what. Hold it! By someone you mean, was there anyone with a score to settle with this doctor? You know, besides you, I mean. You better ask somebody else, Holmes. What do I care? I made up my own mind, did what I had to be done. Straight Gates style. But, uh, why are you so mad at this doctor? Yo, sit back and listen while I drop it, J-Man. Drop it down. Mm. Okay, I was in this clinic about half a year ago. I messed up my, o my OP something bad. You're over... You're OP? So you were a patient at Maractus Clinic half a year ago. For what reason? I had what you might call a mark of honor. Can you explain precisely what was wrong? We had a little run-in with the Rivalis family. And that's when I pulled a jack move. Mm. <laughs> oh, right my balls, dude, really? Ran to ambush, deep busted calf right on my nuggets. <laughs> Your nuggets? Yep, <laughs> right in my noodle nuggets, baby. According to my sources, you couldn't stand, the, couldn't stand the stress of waiting. And ran in 15 minutes before the appointed time by yourself. Hey, I was more than, more than a match for those guys. So you were carried to the miraculous clinic from there. Apparently, he was shot in the heart. Are you shitting me? Shot in the heart and he's still alive? Shot in the heart, and you're too late, darling. You gave love a bad name. Bad. <laughs> then, then, then Clavier just starts rocking now. <laughs> Trucy to stand next to me, like, oh my god, why are my clothes still on? To catch bullets between my teeth. Mm. I never learned how to catch them with my heart. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wait, wait, you can do what with your teeth? <laughs> Just stop just throwing it short of my thumper. You know what I'm saying? I would have been golden if it weren't for that whack doc. Dude, oh. Can't even take out a stupid bullet. Dude, how is he? That's pretty fucking badass. You got shot in the heart, you live. That should give you a tremendous street cred. So, as you say, the surgery was a failure. That ain't all, Holmes. Okay, then he just lets me go without a word. See you later. Bye. What do you mean he just let you go without a word? What do you think it means? He's whack, that's that's what! 
I'm not sure what that means, but it sounds bad. It sounds as though a doctor wished to hide his, hide his mistake. That is why he let the defendant go. He's a liar straight up. He's a bad G than me. <laughs> so I gotta go in and get another doc to pass me up. Again. So this bullet is still. You know what? I can still feel it right there in my chest, pressing against my heart. Your words are like a bullet shot straight into my heart, or something to that effect. Incidentally, that's from one of our hit singles. <laughs> well, that sounds like a straightforward case of malpractice. <coughs> Word, J Man, we're no accident. That's for shizzle. Mm. All right, I'm pretty sure I'm ready to murder this kid. <laughs> Seems like there are weird issues with this doctor. Man, putting him down was like doing the world a favor. Walkie, please consult your lawyer before saying things like that. I am gonna fucking kill this guy. Chin up, Apollo. Back straight. But then why did why did this mistake only come to, to the light that day? Just found during the family health checkup. Family health checkup? That was the wackiest thing of all. All us G's lining up, ticket eye exams and all that. Better die young, fade away, bazooey! <laughs> a relief to hear. <laughs> What's a relief? Oh, did your father not tell you? That bullet you carry so close to your heart, if not attended to immediately, it could kill you. What? Yes, sir, Dr. Maractus has had knowledge concerning this ticking time bomb in you. Knowledge that could have saved your life. No way! Th that, that's whack! There is proof. Your checkup report. Oh. How ironic that you would kill the man, the one man capable of helping you. You're almost as careless as he was. <laughs> oh. Uh... Well, now that the place is hopping, let's get this gig started. Start started? We've had enough of a warm-up, Jack. Ja. Time to hear from the witness. Lucky well, sure is quiet all of a sudden. I'm a little uneasy myself. Is this Gavin's strategy? Ugh. Oh, what in the hell am I looking at now? So, you will tell us your name and occupation. What in the... What is wrong with your eyes? Wesley Sticker. Stickler. Wesley, Wesley Stickler. My name is Wesley Stickler. Hmm. By occupation, I take you refer to some labor profit society. Under which the I must confess to be unemployed. However, we must acknowledge the meaning of identity, which is commonly attached to the notion of occupation. And once we have accepted this reality, we see that our confusion is not guessed up, but per se, but derives instead from the vagueness inherent in all the representations of thought. <laughs> By which he means to say that he is a student. But you know at Ivy University, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> yes, in the, in the Department of Science and Engineering, filled with curiosity for all things I spent my days in pursuit of truth, hoping my... Yes, Stickler, please direct, direct that curiosity to the case at hand today. Well, Mr. Stickler! <laughs> please let's find out the court what you saw in the eye of the crime. You ask, quite simplistically, I understand that Homo sapiens possess two eyes, and these died uh, received a deep of data, sending images with the sword. <laughs> Night in the park. Oh my god. It sounds too much like the other guy. I'm gonna change it a little bit, I think. That night I passed through the park on my way home from shopping when I saw them. One man pulling a stand, another man facing him. I saw them quite clearly, the man facing the victim with the defendant. In his hand he held. Yes, a pistol. It was pointed at the man pulling the stand. A shot. The bullet hit the man pulling the stand from the front, square at the forehead. Ooh, one in the brain. Aim for the brain, you'll shorten the pain. Oh, is there anyone else in the park at that time? I can say, with, I can say with 100% 100% accuracy, there was not. The pistol our witness refers to is this. Or accepts this in evidence. Oh, oh, I got Oh, I oh, just got a gun! Very well, Mr. Nelson, you may cross examine the witness. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, Trusy, why are you star staring at, like that at the witness? <laughs> that man! I can't help but feel like I've seen him somewhere before. <laughs> I don't think I have. Alright, bring it on, uh, scholar guy. Hold it. Press him on that. Are you absolutely certain only one shot was fired? 
yes, of, co of, co of course. It was one shot. Why do you ask? Ha! A contradiction, finally! Mr. Stickler, according to the court record, the, pist the, fi the pistol was fired twice. A clear contradiction! <laughs> Good eyes there, Justice. You're, you're cool. Real cool. Eh? Uh, you, you really think so? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is no reason why this other shot had, had to have been fired from that night. Uh, meaning? This pistol came from the K Kataki family mansion, Ja. I think it's not unreasonable to assume the pistol had been fired once before that night. During perhaps another altercation. Ugh, he's got a good, he's got a point. Judging from a smug expression, I see Prosecutor Kevin had that answer right before you even spotted the problem. Seems pretty confident in his testimony. We always make the biggest mistakes when we're, our when we're our most confident. He's got a weak point somewhere, up, I'll find it. Right, better give that a testimony another listen. Okay, his hand he held, yes, a pistol, pointing at the man's holding the stand. Are you, are you sure the pistol you saw is the same one as, as the one just submitted as evidence? Am I sure? Surely you jest. Or so a common witness would be tempted to say. Huh? Oh, <laughs> Yet I am no common witness. I see, I see not only events as they are, but the logical structure governing these events. First, first, we must consider the fact that it was night in the park, which indeed was possible with my field of vision due to the insufficient levels of illumination. Now, if we consider the pistol, let us call it object A. It was shredded in the darkness. It's becoming difficult to say which is object A was indeed object A. I think he means he couldn't see that clearly. A badge for a normal witness. My kingdom for a fucking horse! And yet the stickler that the pistol was fired before my eyes is indisputable. I can still see it when my eye close my eyes, the defendant raising his weapon. So quite clearly, the man facing the victim was the defendant. How can you be so sure it was the defendant? The, pr the crime took place at night. It would have been too dark. Oh! Perhaps I was remiss in not mentioning this earlier. Huh? You see, in class, I always sit in the very back most seat. Do you, do you know why? Who cares? <laughs> because I do not wish anyone to copy my perfect notes. And this rice your testimony out? I mentioned this to illustrate my predisposition disposition to, to that which is perfect. It was dark, you say, yet there are lights in the park. If I say the defendant was in the park that night, then he was in the park that night. It is hard immutable, hard immutable fact. Sure is confident. He seems to be telling the truth, too. Uh, one man pulling a stand, another man facing him. Were these men talking by any chance? Ah, oh, now they... Now you mentioned it, they were, though I cannot claim that I heard them clearly. Only fragments, such as you lied to me, and, oh, and I'm gonna give you a taste of your own medicine, pal. <laughs> pal. Ah, <laughs> it's just as our defendant claims. I believe he was, he wished to teach the victim what it felt like to take a bullet in the heart. If that's true, then this is a vital piece of evidence. Ah, shit. Sounds like you heard, sounds like you heard them clear enough to me. Oh. Hold my what have you allowed to amend my testimony? Wh what now? Be precise, do not say pal, but man. Yes, that was the way of it. I swear on my diploma. <laughs> What's the difference? And this other man, who was he? Okay. Okay, and I passed through the park on the way home when I saw him. On the way home from shopping, you say, why go through the park? Ah, oh, fascinating inquiry. You're feeling me cope? couple of being insufficiently verbose. Let us consider the side safe by passing the park on my way home from the store. In that time, I am capable of solving two GMAT, GMAT problem sets. On average, it requires me 3 minutes 24 seconds to complete one. Here go, the time to complete two is on average 6 minutes 48 seconds. However, in the case that the questions are in the verbal category, admittedly not... Mm. That's enough, enough. I, I get the idea. Just as core hopes to finish Crocs everything sometime this fucking month. Please, I have recording booked after this trial. And I've got a shooter perform. Jeez, sorry. Jeez, sorry, you're all so busy. I mean, is this... I only thing I can see is that his cause of death was to the right temple, and he's saying square in the forehead, but I mean, that's like still the head area. I mean, I feel like... Would that really be a, enough to to be a contradiction? Objection! Oh, okay, I guess it is. I mean, <laughs> still the head area. Ooh, that's all of it. I think I have a chance. Is that you relaxing? I see a justice. A justice. Uh oh, uh, <clears throat> uh, objection! 
Oh, what's going on, Mr. Justice? Good God Almighty, my ears. Apollo, pace yourself. This trial's not over yet. Uh, 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 right, um, and, uh, look at this. The autopsy report? Is there a problem with the autopsy report? Um, right, a problem. 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 Uh, yes, uh, the problem is the location of the entry room. Location? You testified that the killer shot the victim square in the forehead, did you not? Ah, uh, I am already determined your angle of inquiry. Allow me to explain. It is quite simple, really. I first understand that when I say square, I speak not of geometrical absolute. What do I mean by this? For example, the deflection of a meter is that the length of the light emitted by a krypton particle, as we all know. In addition, it is well-known fact that krypton particles are rare and invisible to the naked eye, which which points to basically a fallacy of your reasoning, namely that justice. I swear to God, you better stop it. Yes. What's your objection to these uh, krypton particle things? <laughs> This is the big time, and you're obsessed with something so small. You disappoint me. No, I, I'm obsessed with something big. I mean, there's a bigger, less nitpicky problem here. Do tell. Just look at the autopsy report. The location of the entry room was the right temple. The temple? Stickley, you said quite you said quite clearly the victim was shot square in the forehead. It's a contradiction. I isn't it? <laughs> I like Sarah. Boing. <laughs> Came out from under his hand. It is, right? Finally! I'm the best! Air Justice. Oh, Air Justice. Uh, yes? Your tactics are outdated. Try to shake, try to, try to shake the witness by, by objecting to trifles. Surely you haven't forgotten the, the fatal wound your, ma your master suffered seven years ago. Phoenix Wright. Was Phoenix Wright, was it? Look, I know the wound was in the wrong place according to the testimony. <laughs> uh, ah, ah. Ew, what's he doing with his eyes? Ah. <laughs> hey, air, for, air forehead. Air forehead. Forehead? Let us imagine you are walking through the park. You see two men facing each other, one with a pistol trained on the other. What would you do, air, to, air forehead? Well, I, I, I guess I would try to stop them. I'd probably shout stop. And you, Fraulein? Me? Well, I'd probably scream, eek! <laughs> and you, a stickler. What did you shout, I wonder? Ah! Ah! If the victim turned his head at the last moment. Ugh. Oh, yes, thank you for jogging my memory. Sounds like an ad added, added up to the testimony required. God dang it. Okay, night in the park. Part deuce! As soon as the killer raised, raised his pistol, I took action. Cease this at once, you two! I cried the composure. Mm -hmm. And I shot a blast of energy from my palm of my hand, but he blood collected with his Kamehameha wave. Wait, what? Oh, where? What's happening? Well, then he shot against the contention back at my shower and gone, and then boom, bog, doodly, boodly. People in comments are gonna be like, like, Nico, that's not actually possible because the shower. Shut up! The victim turned, turned in the direction of my voice, and shot, a shot rang out, whereupon my kindly killer, the defendant, appeared, had become frightened. Austin, the pistol side, he is fled from the scene. I see! So you attempted to stop the crime. Indeed, with the composure. Well, maybe the criminal wouldn't have fired if he had shouted like that. <laughs> that doesn't really matter now, unfortunately. <laughs> Let us continue this, this new testimony, shall we? Observe the diagram, if you would. The witness, Mrs. Stickler, was it? Stood here. He shouted, oh, stop, please, or something of this nature. And the victim responded by looking in the witness's direction. Uh, if the killer were to have fired at just that moment, as we see, as we can see, the bullet would have struck the right temple, as in the report. Uh, yeah. I don't seem to be the case. When is the power of Junior IV, Junior IVs, the University Department of Science? <laughs> we're almost justice. You may cross-examine this little douchebag. All right, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna yell real loud. You know, honestly, you think he would have shot the other guy? I mean, honestly, it's, it's the guy with a gun. I don't know if that, I don't know if I would be like, uh, stop doing that to someone who's holding a gun. I mean, I don't know. It's hard to say what you would do in a situation like that, but I mean, I'd be pretty terrified, honestly. I mean, the guy could easily just turn and shoot you too. I'm like, oh, no witnesses, bang, you're dead too. The victim turned to my, the vector direction of my voice and a shot rang out. Did you hear the gunshot at the same time as the victim turned? Indeed, I would say say about the same time, to be precise. And the victim didn't ask you for help. 
It can be said that he didn't have time to ask. He didn't even have time to take a single step. I'm totally sure that the killer fired because Mr. Stickler stole it. <laughs> Don't say that too loud, Tristy, please. <laughs> oh, bugger, bugger, bugger. Ah! Okay, we're part of Cowley. Killer the Fen appeared to have become frightened. Can you describe the killer's actions more clearly? He seemed quite surprised, especially considering that it was he who did the deed. As we can see, human psychology is a tangled web indeed. He simply couldn't believe what he had done. He shot, he shot, he panicked. A common tale, but true. Unfortunately, before I could take further action... Tossing his pistol aside, he fled from the scene. You didn't try to apprehend the criminal? It all happened. It all happened so fast, I'm afraid I hadn't the time. Did something about that strike use odd, Apollo? What? The pillar was in a hurry, right? He fired the pistol and tossed it right away. According to the testimony... According, according to the testimony, that's what happened, yes. In that case, I'd expect to find something that we didn't find. Find something? Find what? I like that contradiction. Kind of sad to see it go. That's as I feel. What do we, what do, we do now? At least the testimony's getting a little clearer. I can find something to use in this new testimony. I mean, where was the gun there, right? Objection! Yeah, I, 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 the gun wasn't there, though. Unless they picked it up before I got there. Wait a second. This is another misleading request. Catch your be so beholden to your own mode of discourse you can't see how it affects you. Um, come again? Wait a second, you say? A second? Are we intended to wait just a dad a single second? One six of a, six is a minute? That's hardly enough time to talk, take, draw a breath, let alone take a statement in court. Now, had you waited for a longer period of time, say three minutes, 35 seconds, that Mr. Justice, kill him for me! Yes, Your Honor. I understand you are objecting to the length of a second. Yes, I, I mean, I mean, no. Here, just, just look at the fucking gun! It doesn't have a single fingerprint on it! Oh, of course. He, oh, he didn't wipe it off. Okay, yeah. A uh, common ploy made all the more common, I fear, by the prevalence of television. Criminals these days are loath. Criminals these days are loath to leave fingerprints. Wait, but you said the killer tossed the gun and ran. That's right! He didn't have time to wipe the gun for, for prints! Oh! Ah, the little girl sticking it to the university student. There's a song in there. I'm not little! Oh, then let's think like adults, shall we, Fraulein? Eh? What if the killer, the defendant, was wearing gloves? God, man, I didn't think of that, about, of that Apollo. <laughs> well, Mr. Justice! Yeah, okay, actually, yeah. Could the killer have been wearing gloves? No, because he left... Because he left his knife there, right? And that had... And that had prints on it. The record of the murder weapon is very clear about one thing. The fingerprints were white, which means someone, some trace of prints remained. Which contradicts your testimony. If everything happened as you said it did, it wouldn't have had time to wipe the pistol. <laughs> that may be, but, but does it not change what I saw? The killer, the def defendant, he threw down the murderous weapon from his hand and fled. Mm. And the pistol was found at the scene of the crime. Strongly suggests that this was the weapon he disposed of. That sounds solid to me. Well, air forehead. <laughs> air forehead. <laughs> well, air forehead. Any of your precious objections? <laughs> Okay, so Paul, let's get see that voice train go to work. I'm not justice. I am fine. I am fine. I am fine. I am justice. I am fine. You know, I'm real. I've really recently realized something. You know how much you train your voice. It doesn't matter if you don't have if nothing to say. What do you mean nothing to say? Isn't it obvious from what the witness just said? Huh? Isn't what obvious? We restated that what he saw just now. He said he saw Walkie drop a murderous weapon. But that's not the same as being 100% sure of what Walkie threw away. You're right. He's just confused because a pistol was found at the scene. Poor Mr. Stickler, it must be hard to be so perfect and yet so wrong. <laughs> well, it could be said that I'm quite offended. Well, it is indeed true that in my youth that I was seized by a teacher and posted a blackboard of revelation of the prefect's name and the issue of the... What we can say for certain is that the witness saw the killer through something. Does it have anything to say about this? What if what he threw wasn't the pistol? It's, yeah, the fucking knife. Then it had to be something else. At least one person on the defense team seems to be thinking. Ugh, I'll wipe the smile off your pretty face, Gavin. You and your sexy, fucking perfect body. Perhaps you can form a course to the nature of the something else. Or the killer throw away before fleeing to the scene. Bugga -da -bugga -da -bugga -da -bugga -da Is that a sword? Saw one of those on a late night movie last night. <laughs> Great, a sleep deprived judge. Judge. 
I haven't slept in the past 83 years, boy! This knife was found at the scene of the crime with the defendant's prints on it. There's prints! The single piece of evidence proves two important things. One, that what the defendant threw down wasn't a pistol. Two, the defendant wasn't wearing gloves. Yeah, see, that's what I, that's what I was trying to say. Indeed! Oh, your forehead. You're, you're, you're forgetting two other things you just proven. Huh? One, that the ma that the man the witness saw was the defendant, Mr. Walkie Kataki. Two, the defendant was holding a knife with the intent of harming the victim. Uh, oh! Mm, indeed, oh! Ugh, never underestimate, never underestimate a cabin is a lesson here. Of course, uh, something painted our witness is far to making assumptions. In that light, I believe it would behoove us to hear about what really occurred. With less assuming, please, you little douchebag. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna wipe that stupid, fucking, weird-looking eye eyes off your face. It is always the same with you people. Mark left on the house of foot, and five minutes later, his his brother left after him. How long would it take Mark's brother to catch up to him? Assuming the Mark never had to stop for a traffic light. Assuming, yes, that's what I said. Assuming, and if that were a probable situation at all, and here you are assuming that my presumption is no better. Uh -huh. All right, okay, sir. Seriously, can can I kill this guy? Can I fucking murder this guy? I I'm I'm a judge. I should get like one freebie, right? What is this court assumes? Is that the one that's will that's fine what happened out of the shower's fire? From shot to call. I could not prevent the killer from leaving the scene. Nor could I simply le leave the scene in good conscience. Ergo, I used my cell phone to call the police. Until then, until the police arrived at the scene ten minutes later, I saw no one else. Okay. Why didn't you chase the killer? He was, as you say, a killer. Of course I could. Of course I could run him down, yet what, what would he have done when cornered? Sadly, it takes more than an aptitude for solving quadratic equations to know that. Mm. Did the testimony earlier not prove the defendant's presence at the scene? And do we not also now know that there was no one else there? It seems clear that we have our killer. Does it not? Does it not, Mr. Justice? I better find a way to take this testimony down quick. Okay, shot to call. Let's do this. Here we go, I use my cell phone to call the police. Now I've got the cell phone in my inventory. I'm, I'm gonna bet maybe this is like his or something. Was it your first thought to call an ambulance? It could be said that I'm I'm dabbled in, dabbled in medicine. Injury I witnessed, namely a single shot to the head, tends to result in death. Ergo, there was no need for me to call an ambulance. Oh, a perfect syllogism. A perfect three parts, exquisite, simply exquisite. He actually looks like he's going to cry. <laughs> Until the police arrived at the scene ten minutes later, I saw no one else. But that that's impossible, right? Because didn't wasn't there what didn't didn't that where Phoenix got smashed? Right? Until the police arrived at the scene later, I saw no one else. Can you tell us in detail about these ten minutes? I stood in a state of heightened awareness. Anything could happen at any moment. Anyone could appear from any direction. Is that all? No one came, nothing happened at all. I saw it all, which is tough to say. I saw nothing. It was late at night. It's not odd to think there were a few people around in the park. So we just stood there watching? Huh. Not much but go much to go on there. Hey, seriously, if you got something to say, by all means, just say it. Well, it's just way too self assured. There's gotta be a weakness somewhere in this testimony. Hey. You were certainly composed of someone who had just witnessed a killing. If one is to devote one's life to the pursuit of science, and one must never flinch in sight of a little blood, nor be so moved by a chemical discovery that one drops, one drops one's flask upon the lab room floor. Ooh, cool answer. Very cool. <laughs> hmm, so nothing strange about that reacted. She looks like she has something to say. Which way did the killer run? By the time it was cl clear the killer had noticed me, naturally he ran in the opposite direction. That would mean he ran in the opposite direction from the Kataki Mansion. Ashong don't even think about pointing out that he was going away from his home. All he had to do was look back around, back once we was out of sight. Ugh, how did he know that's where I was going? Ugh, I can't find a single problem with the testimony. Uh, okay, I was like... I mean, I feel like what I'm trying to point out is that... I'm guessing, could it possibly be that he's the one that hit Phoenix in, in his car? That's how he witnessed this? If not, then he should have seen someone coming in with a car and see Phoenix flying, like, across the pavement. Like, blah, blah, blah. 
How'd you do for last, air forehead? <laughs> Maybe he's trying to back off a bit. I I don't know. Uh, yeah. Uh, there's nothing fishy about that testimony at all. I don't know. Back to the witness's card testimony. There are any number of ways to explain the lack of prints on the pistol. I assure you. Perhaps the killer really was wearing gloves, which wiped the pre the previous user's prints off. Then, after the deed was done, this fell out of his pocket as he was throwing the gun away. A mistake befitting of a small-time punk, in my in my opinion. No. No. <laughs> With a little face he made right before it faded to black. You've come to the end of the line here. No, that can't be all. How unfortunate. It seems that you won't cut out to stand on the same stage as me. Will you, Air Forehead? Please bring Scott's animation into a close. Score will now declare a verdict for the defendant. Uh, why are you talking? What? Hold it. Eek! Oh, what the fuck? Trucy? What the dicks? What? Uh. Nobody move. Nobody. What the fuck? What's happening? What the meanest? Who are you? Flavio's uh, uh, like, oh, hello there. <laughs> no verdict in this court, not yet. Oh my god, it's Batman. Wait, are you one of the Katakis? Doggies, you mean the notorious gangsters? No, oh, see me give that pretty little girl a new smile to us, I say. Do it. Turn the court for 20 minutes. What? what, what? The score will not bow to not bow pressure from the likes of. Hey, hey, judge. I see the I see little point in further aggravating this gentleman. Uh, um, recess twenty minutes. Or I promise you, you'll regret it. Well, and he vanished. Wait, how did he disappear so fast? Like a poof, he's gone. Oh. Fiddle, come to the fiddle lobby, Apollo. Oh, uh, she did something, didn't she? Did uh, give us uh, some t buy some time so we can find a new loophole, I guess. Well, I have no trouble in a jar for twenty minute recess. Fiddle, come to the mysterious man. Of course, you will not escape my awesome, hopeful rat. Oh, you'll be continued? Wow, really? Wow, seriously? Well, uh... <laughs> I didn't really do a whole lot of uh, presenting this episode, it seems like. That's kind of a short one, isn't it? Well, yeah, I th okay, I'll just end it here for now, I think. And then, uh... Because I don't know, I, mean, I don't know. I don't know how long the next part could be. The next part could be, like, over an hour or something, but... Um, so probably a slightly shorter one. <laughs> Lately, God, it seems like the videos have been like like an hour and a half. That's way too long. I usually like to go for like an hour. Um, right now, this is a little under an hour un uncut, so I'm betting when I cut it down, though, it's going to be a bit shorter. But anyway, I uh, hope you all enjoyed. Like for if you did, subscribe now, become Peaky Penguin aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.